Hello, welcome to the video on finding the least common multiple. Sometimes it's known as finding the lowest common multiple, but it's still the LCM. This is our example set B video, and here we're going to find the LCM of the denominators of some fractions. And when we do this, we're actually finding the lowest common denominator. Okay, so let's go ahead and recall from the lesson and what we practiced in the previous example set, the procedure to find the LCM, okay? And this involves prime factoring um, the given numbers. In this case, it's going to be the denominators. And then we're going to use these prime factors to form our lowest common multiple. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So we have 2 thirds and 1 ninth. So if I want to find the LCD, I'm just focusing in on the denominators. Here it's 3 and 9. Okay, so we have to find the LCM of 3 and 9. And when we do that, we're actually finding the LCD. All right, so the way you do this is prime factor. Okay, of course, 3 factors as 1 times 3. And 9 will factor as 3 times 3. So these are the factors here that we have to consider. So our LCM will be, we have to go ahead and use a 3. Okay, you can see here, we, we don't really need 1 involved because 1 is almost an implied factor for everything. It's uh, so you don't need to actually write this down. But here we have 3, and right here on this number, 9, we have to write that as a power. So this is really 3 squared. Okay, so when we um, form our LCM, we have to take the highest power of this number. So we have a 3 to the first and 3 squared, so we have to use 3 squared. So the lowest common multiple is 9, which means that the LCD is 9. Okay, so recall that the LCM or the LCD is the lowest number that both of these numbers go into. Okay, so if I ask you what's the lowest number you can think of that both 3 divides into and 9 divides, divides into, that number is 9. Okay, so let's move forward. Let's take a look at these pair of fractions. We have 7 tenths and 3 fourteenths. So once again, we have to find the LCM of these two numbers here, 10 and 14. Just want to remind you that we have a whole lesson and example set on finding the LCM. So if you're a little bit confused on that, I would reference you back to those um, videos. Okay, so go ahead and take a moment and find the LCM. You have to first uh, prime factor these two, so go ahead and do that. All right, so 10 prime factors as 2 times 5, and 14 prime factors as 2 times 7. Okay, so our LCM or LCD in this case, because we're talking about the denominators, the same thing, is going to be, all right, we need a 2. Okay, we have a 2 here, but I only need one 2 represented in the highest power, maybe that they're both 2 to the first, I just need a 2. I need a 5 here, and I also need a 7. All right, so let's go and write those in. 2 times... 5 times 7, or 10 times 7, is 70. Okay, so 70 is the lowest number that both 10 and 14 divide into. So 70 is our LCD. Okay, let's move on. So here we have, just as we we're practicing with LCMs, here we have three fractions, but the procedure is still the same. What we need to do is prime factor each one of these denominators. Okay, to find the LCM, so let's go ahead and do that. We have 5, 8, and 20. So go ahead and prime factor each. So 5, once again, prime factors is 1 times 5. 8 is 2 times 4, or 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, and we'll write this down here nice and neat in a second. 20 is going to be 4 times 5 or 2 times 2 times 5. So let's go to write 20. Okay, remember when we have these repeating factors, you want to write things in terms of power. So we'll write 20 as 2 squared, which is 4 times 5. And then 8 will be 2 times 2 times 2. So this is going to be 2 cubed. And then 5 is just simply just 5. Okay, we don't really need to include, um, um, handle that 1 here when we're talking about the LCM. So these are the prime factors that we need to consider to form our LCM, or in this case, the LCD. All right, so let's go ahead and have you do that. Okay, so recall we need a 2 here. 
and we have to select the highest power 2. So we have a 2 cubed and a 2 squared. So we're going to have to write this, this one here, the 2 cubed, as part of this LCM. Okay, so we have 2 cubed, 2 squared. We'll pick the highest power, so we need that. We also need a 5. Okay, 5 is over here, but we only need one 5, and that should do it. So let's go ahead and write this into our final answer. So this is 2 cubed times 5, which, of course, is 2 cubed is 8. 8 times 5, which is 40. Okay, so our LCD or LCM of these numbers is 40. Let's go back here. So if I ask you 5, 8, and 20, what's the lowest number that all of them um, divide into, all three of those numbers, in fact, it would be 40. All right, so our LCD is 40. All right. So I hope you're confident, really, of what the LCM and LCD is. It's a very important concept, and it's a critical skill to be able to find these uh, numbers when we're talking about adding and subtracting fractions. Okay, so if you're having trouble finding the LCM, I'd reference you back to the lesson and example set video dedicated on that. But uh, keep working hard. Good luck and hope to see you soon.